this is what we're having issues with. The wipers are just coming on automatically. All the lights are on. I didn't even turn them on. The fog lights, the high beams. Look at that. Look at that. The brake light came on. The radio shut off. It was playing, it shut off. It's weird. There you go, see? It's off again, it's rebooting, and then the lights are off. So we got an issue with some electrical. Let's let's dig in and see what we find out. Welcome back YouTube to another episode. Today we have a Mercedes 300. So the complaint on this car was electrical issues and all the lights lit on the dash. Uh, again, this is a 2012 C300. Uh, I believe this is a 3.0 V6. So let's get started and see what we find. And again, I was not going to make a video on this car. But after I started taking things apart, I was like, you know what? Let's let's do a video because this is ridiculous. So again, first thing I did find out was the weather strip for the windshield. It's missing. So that's got to be our main problem here. It's all missing. So let's check it out. First thing is first, always disconnect your battery. I actually removed the battery because I just want to make sure I check everything. I inspect everything. Also, I did scan the car. I was getting no CAN bus communication. I was getting no central gateway. Uh, I was reading as malfunction. Also, the rear SAM was reading malfunction. It was not connecting. So there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. And uh, I had to go to the interior and start ripping everything in there. Okay, guys, now we're inside. Um, so when I was scanning for modules, I was also looking for more modules. Um, the only two modules I actually came across was the front SAM and the rear SAM on these W204 C300. So I thought there was a separate, you know, central gateway for these cars. So I was not able to locate that. I even called the dealer, asked them for the central gateway. I, you know, I even gave them a part number and they were not even able to find it for me so i'm assuming we only have the front fuse box over there and the rear sam in the back so let's get started here all right so the water was coming in from inside the cabin from that strip i was telling you it's all coming through here and pulling up here so literally there was a swimming pool over here like i grabbed my shot vac i used it to clean up all the water i sucked up all the water i i'm still letting this car dry and I did find a few issues here on the side. This here, I found I found two actual distribution boxes that were soaking wet. Let me show you right now. Here are the distribution blocks. This one's located by the brown connectors. This one's located by the green connectors. And again, these, when I opened them up, they were submerged in water. Um, I'm gonna open them up and see what we find out. So we have our old parts here. Check this out. That is bad. Wow. Fully corroded. This one is bad too. We're going to replace these. I have the new ones here from the dealer. Uh, I will list these part numbers in the description box if you guys need them. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the interior. I'm going to let everything dry. I'm going to fast forward and we'll be there in a second. No interior. Voila, fuse box out, fuse box back in place. All right, we're inside the car, we're gonna start it. All right, we're doing the road test right now. The radio is on, it hasn't been turning off. So, I mean, we still have the check engine light, which it is it's showing for outside temperature sensor. Um, that's why the thing is on, look, right there. Mill on, stored. So I'm going to test drive it. I'm going to keep driving for another 10 minutes and see. Because usually when I was driving, the lights would immediately start coming on. Uh, all the lights on the dash. Radio will shut off. We'll reprogram again. we start up. And it's not doing that right now. So I think we got a fix. I think we have a fix here. So stay tuned. And we're back after a 30 minute drive, maybe like 45 minute, I would say. Um, I came back, we set all the 30 modules this car had. We scanned the car again. We have no faults. This car is running flawlessly. No lights, no nothing. Radio never shut off. 
this car is fixed for sure for sure all right guys so quick recap on this 2012 c300 3.0 the owner of this car originally took this car to a shop where they actually told him he needed to replace the front fuse box and they couldn't even do the job because they had to take it to Mercedes, get it um, reprogrammed, do all that stuff. And honestly, that was not even the issue. They didn't even bother to even look at the interior. It actually kind of traced the issue. They just saw a front sam malfunction, not connecting. They assume it's this. It's not even that. That would have been more money to replace. So I was able to trace all the wires back into the cabin. I found all those issues with the water. And like I said, I did replace those two parts inside the uh, footwell right uh, passenger side. And luckily that fixed everything in this car. So there you have it. Another happy, satisfied owner. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button share the video i really appreciate you guys and all those new subscribers i really appreciate you so stay tuned for more videos we have more videos coming to the channel till next time <laughs>